Hello and welcome to the Maso Peluso channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing another one of my educational based videos and it's all about university. As I am a university student, I am a first year student studying psychology and sociology at the University of Brighton. If you didn't know, if you don't follow me. Um, I am nearly finished my first year. Obviously with what's going on at the moment I've basically finished. Um, it's still moved online now so I'm still learning but it doesn't really feel like I'm obviously there. I still have all my assignments and essays but yeah, basically it was like a finished. Um, I really enjoyed it, really like it, really interesting, really engaging, but obviously quite demotivating that it's online, but hey ho, there's worse problems in the world than like me sulking about it being online. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I really appreciate that. Follow me on my Instagram, Massimo G Peluso, for all updates and fashion pictures and travel pictures and all of that. Um, and let's get into this video. So, the big question that every single person, student, asks themselves, should I go to university? Is university for me? Is it a waste of money? I think the financial side of it is the biggest issue. Because obviously if it was free, everyone would go. You know, like, I studied in education, free education until I was 19 years old. So I did that extra year out of choice. Because um, I did obviously the year college and then two years A-level, sixth form. Um, so, yeah, I kind of stayed in education as much as I could for free. Um, so, yeah, university is expensive. That's, like, a common thing, obviously, and it's an obvious thing. Um, university is expensive. I pay, will be paying 1950 for the three years. Sorry, 1950 times three, so it's, like, 27 and a half plus. And then, obviously, maintenance loan, which is 4000 4, um, And then, obviously, accommodation fees, and then... Um, all of that you may get grants depending on like your income and all of that but i'm gonna get into that so it's expensive it's expensive it's not something you're just like yep i'll do it whatever no it's expensive so i think the biggest question you should ask yourself do you need university okay it sounds like an obvious question but do you need it to progress into a career will it give you a leg up will it give you a kick up would open doors so for example not that this is a common aspiration not that I'm looking down on it but say for example you really want to work in retail just as a sales assistant you don't need university so of course you're going to be like right I'm just going to apply for jobs work in retail for the rest of my life although in retail using the same example if you want to be a manager then it could be good to have a business degree perhaps and then experience and then work your way up, depending on like what store you want to manage, because some stores obviously, like H&M maybe is like a little bit harder to get, or if it's like Gucci, then obviously like, it's quite intense. But that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's the first tip. Do you actually need university? So using myself in, as an example, so um, with my degree, it's kind of like a really expensive backup plan. So if acting and television and entertainment doesn't work, that's really what I want to get into, um, then I have my degree to fall back on, like to get into teaching, to teach sociology, psychology, business, one of those subjects, uh, because you need a degree to be a teacher. So that's the first tip, do you need it? So looking at your goals and aspirations and your path too, it's a bit, it sounds a bit harsh, but can you afford it? Um, I think, even though not to sound like in a braggy way, but I can afford it. I didn't know how expensive it actually was. So the 9250, the 4000 maintenance loan, the, okay, so not all accommodation costs this, but I spent 8,000 pounds on my accommodation. So yeah, it's a lot. Um, and then there's food, and then there's travel, and then there's books and pens and resources for your course, because not to slate universities, but what Brighton, but, they don't do enough to support students. I mean, you pay 9250, they get hundreds of millions from all the students. There's like 10, 20, 30,000 students. That's 9250 times each student for one year. Then obviously maintenance loan, then obviously accommodation if you if the accommodation is linked, like my accommodation is linked with the uni. So they get their millions and millions. And I know obviously it's expensive to run a university, of course. Teachers are, lecturers obviously are big costs, but I feel like there should be something to support students, like maybe, I don't know, free travel, 
every so ever whatsoever you know um because it's hard like being a student and there's not a lot of support i feel with brighton at least not to say brighton because i do like brighton but there should be more support so yeah try and get as much help as you can apply for the for the 1950 fees to be paid for um apply for the maintenance loan if you can because it is really big help because i put all my maintenance loan into my accommodation fee so basically my accommodation half of it my parents paid for and half of it my maintenance loan covered so and then obviously i'll pay the maintenance loan back so kind of kill two birds with one stone in a sense kind of in a way because although i'm getting the maintenance loan i've actually put it into my accommodation rather than having two kind of massive like paying for the accommodation paying for the loan so it's a massive help i worked non-stop throughout the summer after my a-levels so from may no sorry june sorry june all the way to september i worked non-stop worked my 10 hours i know it's not a lot but i did my 10 hours contracted which was like 81 pounds a week and then for a student that's quite good and then i did overtime like can you do this yep can you do this yep i did as many as i could really i never said no did loads of overtime i did like 25 hours in one week i think i did like monday evening tuesday evening thursday evening saturday evening so actually maybe like yeah just over 20 hours i did so that was quite intense um <laughs> but you know i was doing nothing so so that's kind of like i don't if you're doing nothing i recommend you do it you do get a job because i managed to earn around like two three thousand pounds ish over the summer and so obviously that was a massive help try not to my next tip is try not to uh, give in to peer pressure or kind of like looking around to see what everyone else does because they aren't you you are your own person it doesn't matter if your entire family has gone to university do you need university if you don't don't go don't go because your friends are going for the party life because at the end of the day although there's freshers two weeks a week um, and obviously there's a, it's very party orientated and going out, clubs, pubs and all of that. At the end of the day, you are there for a degree. You are there for an education. At the end of the day, you need to buckle down and do your work. If you don't do your work, you will fail. And you will get kicked out. Maybe not first year, but... Well, it depends actually. I don't actually know when I got kicked out, but... Maybe first year they're a bit lenient, but if you fail all your modules, then obviously, like... You probably won't be able to progress in second year. Please take it seriously, and you're at, you're at this age you now, 18 minimum and above. You're at this eight or maybe 17 maybe, but 18 mainly, um, where you have to make your own decisions. You have to really have this kind of tunnel vision, and not kind of be drawn drawn into like influence from your friends and your family, and really be selfish and put yourself first because life is hard and university is hard and it's expensive and so it's really really important you make the right decision um of course first year you can mess up a little bit also don't be afraid to just take a year out there's no harm in doing that if you can do that if you still live at home don't have to pay any costs do it my friend i'm not going to name her but she's one of my closest friends she took a year out she did her two year a level of a levels and then she well, it's kind of a year out, but it's not because she's still doing stuff. But she still works at a leisure centre, a swimming, strip, like kind of swimming teacher kind of thing, which she's done for years. And then she is uh, doing a sports uh, course at college. So don't be afraid to do that. Like I kind of did the same, but we did we did it reverse. But um, yeah, don't be afraid to just take a year out because that extra year for me really helped me. Because when I went to college, so that was straight after Jesus I was sixteen. 16 to 17 and um i wanted to do like business and sociology and then now i'm doing psychology and sociology like you just your experience with people your experience of just life and subjects and whatever really does change what you want to do in life and i think that was a massive wake up call for me because i wouldn't have i don't think i would have liked to have done business at, at degree level i love business don't get me wrong but i just feel like i did it for four years or three years sorry three and i kind of you got sick of it really yeah and in that in that year you can do absolutely anything don't do nothing but you can do absolutely anything you can work you can do online courses you can actually attend college because college is so flexible i mean my friend again and i were in three days a week well she is and i was in three days a week so it's completely flexible um yeah try and do something 
maybe do a hobby, maybe do YouTube, do something creative. So when you go to apply for university the next year or go into that course you, you really dream of, then you have something, you know, on your CV like, oh, yeah, after that I did this. And it was a very big wake up call for me, you know, because it's a harsh market out there. And if they see that you've done nothing in that year, then yeah, they're going to be worried. <laughs> the last point I want to make is that university, firstly, is not for everyone. And secondly, you don't need university, necessarily. You can um, achieve a job um, through diff so many different avenues. Um, for example, teaching. When I finished my college course, or GC I can't remember, or GCs maybe, I don't know. You know, you just think of other options during the summer. And um, I thought, maybe I could do um, an apprenticeship in teaching. But then I thought, maybe not for me, because it's not really for me. Um, so yeah, think about that. There's apprenticeships, there's college courses, there's BTEC, there's A levels, there's sixth form, um, literally anything your heart's desire, really. Then yeah, apprenticeships grow right up to degree level. I think master's degree level actually. University will always be there. It's not like GCSEs or A levels where, oh, I'm not 18 anymore, or I'm not 20, like 19 anymore. I can't do it anymore. I have to pay. Also, university have to pay, but university will always be there. You can't. It's not really like missing. You can't like. For example, if I wanted to do my G a GCC, I would have to pay for it, and I would not be able to do all 10 again, or 12 again, or whatever, how many I did, um, you know, so it's, it's completely different, degree will always be that, like, the, I think there's two people, there's a couple in my course, who are like 40s, 50s, I think it's so inspirational, but yeah, um, a degree will always be there, like, don't feel like you, time, like, time's gonna run out, do it whenever you want to. So I really hope this video has been useful. Um, I just kind of just lay down some of my tips and advice because I was unsure if I wanted to go to university. Throughout the summer, I was constantly on the fence. It's like, should I go, should I not go? But then if I don't go, what do I do? Do I just work in retail? Yeah, so it's, it's a massive dilemma, but um, when it comes nearer to September, you, you're you like, yep, yeah, I know what I want to do. And really, you have your gut feeling, and that's kind of all you have, really. And you know from the get-go what you want to do. So I hope this video has been useful. Um, please like and subscribe and all of the rest. Follow me on my Instagram, Massimo G Peluso, and I'll see you in my next video.